Welcome to today's Bible study for New Macedonia Baptist Church in Newport, Kentucky. I'm Pastor Randall Baker. Thank you for joining us here today. We'll be on uh, Deuteronomy chapter 34, the last chapter in Deuteronomy. Uh, would, that, would like to remind you that uh, you can send in your gift or offering to P.O. Box 151 Alexandria, Kentucky 41001. And as always, thank you for what you've given. And thank you for what you will give. I'm going to ask you to pray for a few people. Uh, Herschel Viers is still having cancer treatments, but he's doing pretty good. And, and uh, just pray that God would continue to bless him. C.A. Griffith. Uh, Robert C. cut his hand and got infected, but it's uh, doing better as well. Truman Turner and Geneva Harold, my brother William and sister Sylvia. Millie Little and her daughter Pam Baker, pray for both of them. My granddaughter Candace is doing better, but continue to pray that God would heal her. Lucy Mays, Nancy Combs, uh, Stanley Brewer, uh, my cousins Pat and Jean Wilson and all the sick and in need wherever they might be the elderly or the widows and the widowers uh, pray for our church uh, each ministry of it our congregation and all of god's people wherever they might be and of course as always pray for the lost so they're in more need of prayer than anyone as i said this is a short chapter and uh, the last chapter of deuteronomy but let's go ahead and pray that god would uh, heal those people and bless our uh, Bible study. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for all that you do for us, the many, many good and great perfect gifts that you give us, the many, many blessings you bestow upon us, Lord. You're a good, a great, and a perfect God. You're able to do all things, and, and, you, and you're just a continual droppings of blessings, Lord, and we thank you for it. We ask that you would bless each one of those prayer requests made there today, Lord, and, uh, and bless our, uh, our uh, Bible study today on Deuteronomy chapter 34 Lord just bless it give us an understanding of it as we read it Lord don't let your word go out void as you said you wouldn't we do believe your word Heavenly Father continue to bless us with understanding and uh, just give us that desire to learn and study about your word and to learn more about you Lord and to be able to please you in some way just forgive us Lord of all of our shortcomings our sins whatever we stand in need of Lord and bless us be with us, guide us in all things. Thank you for all things. Continue to look over us. Bless us as you have. Keep us safe as you have. And we'll give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. Uh, we will begin uh, with uh, chapter 34, <clears throat> beginning in verse 1. It says, And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho, and the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah unto the utmost sea, and the south and the plain, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, in the city of palm trees unto Zor. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Jacob, and unto I mean, unto Isaac and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over thither. Now, as I said, this is the last chapter, uh, and it's, uh, it's, 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 it's kind of a sad one, too. Uh, it's the death of Moses, and Moses, as you know, was the leader, the champion of the Israelite people. And the Bible says in Hebrews that he gave up the riches of Egypt to suffer affliction with the people of God. Before the people of Israel could enter into the promised land, he had waited 40 years to see and to enter into the, in Canaan, but because of disobedience, he was refused entry by God. Now, God couldn't make an exception for Moses, though he loved Moses, he respected Moses and what Moses had done with him, but God is no respecter of persons, so Moses sinned and Moses had to pay for that sin. So God told Moses to go up on the mountain of Nebo which was the highest peak of the mountain range of Pisgah. One more thing I would just like to mention about uh, Moses. Maybe you think, hey, it wasn't such a bad thing that he did. It's certainly uh, some people, or more people even, have done worse things. But you know what? A lot more was, res was expected of Moses because Moses was the leader. He was a spiritual leader, the physical leader. Uh, of, of Israel, and a lot more was expected of him. So when he sinned, you know, then he had to pay for that sin. But back to here, uh, to what, what we were talking about in just moments. God had told Moses to go up to the mountain of Nebo, which was the highest peak of the mountain range of Pisgah. It was north of the plains of Moab, 
and that's where Israel was camped uh, up above there. It was across uh, the Jordan River from the city of Jericho. Now from the top of Nebo, Moses could see all the land of Canaan. Uh, he could see north, uh, east, south, and west, and, and all of the land that would be Israel. He could see it all. God took him to the perfect spot to be able to view all of it to see everything that he needed. It said from Gilead to Dan. Now that's not the tribe of Dan, uh, but rather that's, a, that's another area of Dan. But uh, uh, he could see ne where Nephtali would be, where Ephraim would be, Manasseh would be, and Judah. Now Judah was in the central area, and, and these others were in the central area, but Judah went down from very far into the south. Uh, into the desert, but uh, he could also see east to west from the Jordan River over to the Mediterranean Sea, which, which the Bible calls the Great Sea, and as I said, into the desert as, as far south. And the, and the, the plain uh, in the valley of Jericho, he could see that. It was well water, of course, as we know from the River Jordan, uh, and it was giving it, giving it the name of the city of palm trees. And he could see unto Zor, the Bible says. And, and Zor, if you remember, is a city where Lot escaped to with his two uh, daughters uh, from Sodom and Gomorrah. Now God told Moses uh, that this is the land that he had promised to uh, Father Abraham and his son Isaac and then Jacob. And that was over a thousand years ago that he had promised that land. But you know what? The thousand years is like a day with the Lord, the Bible says in, in Peter. But Moses was able to view the land, but as we said here, Moses could not enter. He could not enter. He was not allowed to enter. But by God's mercy, God did allow Moses to look at the land. Uh, and uh, so Moses was at least allowed to see that. He was allowed to see that good land, what a perfect land it was, what a great place it was that God was giving them, just as God said it would be. Verses 5 through 8 says, uh, so Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor. And no man knoweth of his sepulcher until this day. And Moses was an hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. And the children of Israel, Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. So... Moses Moses was taken up on the mountain and God who always keeps his word did exactly as he told Moses he would he took his life in Deuteronomy 32 49 through 50 says he will die he would die in in the mountain Nebo uh, so we know they went up on the mountain and he died God had talked about it with him before then uh, but he wasn't buried up on that mountain because it said in Deuteronomy 34, 6 that he was buried in a valley in the land over against Beth Peor, down in, in a valley in Moab over against uh, where they were. And so God took his life on the mountain, but took his body back south into, into Moab to a valley near Beth Peor. And Beth Peor, if that sounds familiar to you, that was one of the places that Balak, the king of Moab, took Balaam uh, to curse Israel in Numbers 22. But the thing about Moses' body, back to Moses' body, no one knows where his body was buried. Even the devil uh, tried to argue with the archangel Michael about the body of Moses in Jude 1.9. Uh, but he obviously didn't get any information out of him. But Moses was 120 years old, but he didn't die of old age. The Bible said his eyes were not dim and his natural force abated. So he was still strong when he died. He could have went on. And obviously his eyes were good because he could see all that land all over the place there, all over Canaan. He could see all of it in, great, in a great uh, distance. Uh, Israel mourned for Moses 30 days. Now the usual mourning period for the death of a Jew was seven days. But for Aaron and Moses both they mourned for 30 days for each of them. Uh, verse 9 says, And Joshua the son of Nun was filled with was full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses had laid his hands upon him and the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses 
So Moses had laid his hand on Joshua, just as the Bible tells uh, other people lay their hands on the sick or whatever. And in this, in this case, uh, Moses laid his hand on Joshua and transferred some of the power of the Holy Spirit that Moses had been given by God. He had, he had transferred it on into Joshua, or he was just doing as God had told him to do. And, and uh, of course, it was the spirit of wisdom, and it was to be able to lead the people. It sounds like the same thing that Solomon asked for. Uh, the people recognized that God was blessing Joshua as he had Moses. So they listened to Joshua and they followed uh, Joshua just as they did Moses. Uh, verses 10 through 12 says, And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. And all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh, and to all his servants and all his land. And in all that mighty hand and in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. That's a very, very short chapter today, but that's the end of the chapter there. But uh, we'll talk a little bit about verses 10 through 12. and Because uh, it says, it said this, there's some important things in there. It said that there was never before or after Moses a prophet and a leader like Moses. Uh, because God had, had blessed him greatly and because God knew him face to face. He spoke to him face to face. He didn't have to, he didn't have to do uh, the Urim and the Thummim or he didn't have to do dreams or, or anything else like that. But God spoke directly to Moses as somebody would speak to a friend face to face. The signs, the wonders, the miracles, the plagues, the deaths and all brought about upon Egypt and Pharaoh by God at the hand of Moses. And all the sights, all the terror upon them because God, through Moses, uh, did all these greatest things. And because he was the priest, he was, he was the leader, he was the champion, he was the mightiest of the men of God. Uh, Moses was just a great, great man. So many blessings, so much of the Spirit was given to him of God. And as the Bible said here, there was a lot of great prophets in there. Isaiah, uh, Ezekiel. Uh, just a lot of, of great ones, Elijah, Elisha, they were great, great men of God, but you know what, the Bible says there's not been one before or one after that was as great or as mighty as Moses. So God blessed Moses in a great, a great and a mighty, mighty way. Uh, and that uh, uh, concludes uh, the chapter of, uh, of the book, rather, of Deuteronomy by this 34th chapter, it concludes the whole book of Deuteronomy, uh, and pretty much the life of, of Moses. It, it concludes the five books of the Pentateuch, uh, Genesis, uh, Exodus, Numbers, uh, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, and uh, uh, the story of how Egypt, uh, how rather Israel was born, uh, how it became a nation, how it was taken uh, captive in Egypt, uh, how that Moses led them out of slavery, and now we're going to begin to uh, let them back toward uh, the promised land. And now we're going to go into the book of Joshua where that land is actually and physically being divided among them. Thank you for uh, joining us on this uh, Bible study through the Pentateuch. And uh, uh, glad that God gave us that in the Bible. Glad that God gave us all the Bible and the many, many blessings and the many truths that we can read about in the Bible. Everything you read in the Bible is true. If you don't believe it's true, then you can't believe any of it's true. And as I said, thank you for joining us. Continue to read and study the Bible. We'll be next week, good Lord willing, uh, beginning uh, in the book of Joshua in chapter 1. And, and study it, and God will bless you with studying for it. But just, we'll just ask God to, uh, to bless us all as we read it. Let's go ahead and end in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for, the, for uh, all those five books of Moses, Lord. We thank you for the life of Moses. We thank you for Israel, Lord, for allowing them to be your people, for giving them the law, for giving them all the many, many blessings that you did and making examples of them for us, Lord. We thank you for all that great things that you did, Lord. We ask you to continue to bless as we go through uh, uh, Joshua and bless us. Give us the desire to read about it, to learn and to study your word, Lord, so that we can better know how to please you and what you would expect of us lord we thank you for it all thank you for all the many things you've done for us thank you for our church and the blessing you've bestowed upon it all the congregation of it lord bless those that are sick and in need those prayer requests we asked earlier lord and things that we didn't ask things that we forgot people we've forgotten about you bless them lord anyway if it be your will and we'll thank you for it we'll give you all the glory all the praise and all the honor in jesus christ's name we do pray and amen